Hey Chris, this is Jim Kemp in uh, Troy, Michigan. Uh, thanks for your email today. That was really cool for you to reach out and ask how things are going. I uh, thought I'd make a quick video and show you some of the stuff that uh, I've been running up against and see if you have any good suggestions. So let me uh, bring you down and, and show you what I'm up against. And uh, thanks again. Okay, what I've got here is uh, a two-point program and it just rolls between the two locations. And as you can see, there's a, uh, a track position on here. So it should be going between 10, a track position on here. So it should be going between 10 and zero. And right now it's at zero. So let me jog a little bit and we'll make sure it works. So you can see the robot is sliding across. Ball screw is turning. And we're now sitting at 98 millimeters. And now if I run the program, start from the beginning, You can see the uh, the robot is moving across, as well as moving it to the first location. My position here is zero, and the robot never moves in the seventh axis again. It always just sits in the same location. So and this, this guy never changes location. It's always sitting here at zero. Even though this guy is cycling between these locations that have seventh axis, I guess you'd call it track locations in them. So uh, yeah, any, any ideas or suggestions or something I could try to figure that out, that would be great. Thanks a lot. Oh, just as a quick, uh, maybe you're curious, these are lithium ion cells and the application for this potentially could be to pick these up out of a uh, some dunnage, some cardboard shipping containers. So they're, they're packed in a row and the robot would reach down, pick these up and set them into a they call them a, a kitting part, so it's a, a foam cutout, you know, it's like one of these guys, right? But it'll have a cutout for each battery. And so the robot would, would set this down in, and then it would measure the voltage and make sure that the, the voltage is uh, acceptable. So, and then it places two of them in this orientation, and then two of them reverse, and then two of them, and then it does a, a series of 18 of them that way. So, oh, and then it has to read the barcode in the middle, one of these tiny little guys. So I'm not sure that I can get a barcode on. This thing weighs two pounds alone. So it's, it's lithium iron, I believe, is, is what the cell is. And then these get packed into a really large aluminum uh, uh, case. So that's the potential application. So we'll see if, if this makes it. Anyway, thanks again.